I just want to be sure to select the proper photos, you know, that show who Doug was and capture his spirit, you know, and the places he loved. And these are some of these are great shots. This was our wedding day. Aww. Hey, you guys. Like so, yeah, <laughs> Brenda. I heard the news and uh, my condolences. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. God bless. Thank Look you. at his suit in that one. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, you have to put that one yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So Hi. good. Yeah. Oh, okay. pictures. You mind if I come in? Yeah. Oh, here's one of him camping. Oh, nice. his ah. wild man weekend. He looks good in plaid. <laughs> Brenda, what's that? It's an urn. What for? Just came out of the bush. Hey, you got a check your bag anywhere here, Johnny? Hey, check, check your bag in, Melvin. <laughs> hey, Melvin, seriously, you better. Hey, man. Suit, boy. All right. Show back, kick it. Don't hey, kick it. Get out of here. Watch out there, bud. Oh, Pete. Hey, guys, this is Pete. How do you say your last name? Superman. Superman. All right. Superman. He's a wizard. Superman. He's That's a wizard me. with the ladies <laughs> and with. With money, hey? Who we got Cheers. here? Manny? That's Lonnie. Lonnie. All right. Lonnie. He's the brains pleasure. of the operation. This is my cousin, Smelvin. Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Melvin, take it easy, bud. Seriously, you better pipe down a bit, all right? Whatever. Push his button. He That's Melvin. How you doing? <laughs> right on, man. Cheers. These guys are going to be my new uh, business partners for Shed for Brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's with the suit? Oh, I went for a loan. Really? It's double-breasted. It looks pretty nice on you. Hey, two breasts are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> First time I ever seen him in a suit, eh? Looks not too bad, eh? Yeah, it's pretty 100 hard. ground he got. 100 ground. He brought us along from Moral Sport, dumped us off at Hockey Hall of Fame. Waited for him. Got the beers. Are we allowed to drink on here, by the way? He can't smoke at all. We can, we'll drink in a bit. We can things cool down a bit. That's class. You got a $100,000 loan. Oh, I took out a second mortgage on my house. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know much anyway. <laughs> nice girl, no, but she don't right. know much. Yeah, you, got, you got an opener? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I haven't really seen you since Thursday night when we went out to dinner and raid on Chong. Right. Thank you so much. Well, don't thank me. It's. Uh, oh my god, I had a great time. Uh, it was fun. Sipping my way and thanks. Thanks a lot. You know, though, I mean, after all of that, I don't, I don't think she got it. I mean, I really don't think she got, got what? my script, Phone Melter. I don't think oh, she right. got the core element of the script, which is that the masculine, okay, the masculine force in all of us okay. has the potential to destroy as well as heal. And she wants to change it to a woman. I mean, women just, they just don't have the propensity to destroy the things they love. I mean, I just, I, I thought an artist of her magnitude would get it, you know? So she didn't like the script. So he had gone riding on his bike and didn't wear his helmet and they just thought it was a little bump and a few minor scrapes and ended up he had a brain hemorrhage. Wow. Brenda, I have no idea. I am so sore. I mean, we were joking about it on, on Friday. I, well, ha who would know? I, I, actually, I thought he had a heart attack. He Oh, no, 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 no. It was, wow. I mean, they, they, they were working on him and it just, I mean, look, who would know? Who would expect that? So I just, anyways, I just wanted to capture some, some of Doug and I, I'm going to decoupage it onto his urn. It's a beautiful idea. <laughs> Some well, Doug pictures. really loved my arts and crafts, you know. He's always so encouraging, and he anything I made for him, he'd keep it on his desk in his yeah. office. And, and I've got to think of something to say at the darn funeral. I mean, do you say... What do you say? Oh, I mean... Hey, Brenda, I mean... I mean, there's people, his family will be there, and they will think one thing or another, and... I don't know. Hey, look, I'm sure whatever you say will be fine. Exactly. You know, who say knew Doug better than you? What you want to say. And don't worry about what anyone else is going to think. You've got enough to deal with at the moment. Leafs, boom.
them. Who are they bringing up this year on D? Nobody. I don't know. They better Nobody. bring up what's they his face there. You know the guy? They missed like five, six chances the whole time. No, they got that D guy. They got a young guy there. Cole Yakubo. Cole Yakubo. Yeah, Cole I can't ever pronounce his name. Holy Cole Yakubo. Yeah, Joe Bowen. Hey, he could use that new call. He always says, uh, oh, yeah. Holy Mackinac. Holy Cole Yakubo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's good. Him and, him and Neil. They don't have Cole Yakubo. Cole Yakubo. They don't have him. Sure they do. They're bringing him up now. No, the no, they They've do. missed like six times. You're totally wrong. They don't have them. They gotta have them. They had them last year. They do. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, I don't know. Uh, who played hockey more than you did? Shut up, Smith. Get out of here. Shut up. I'm telling you, this guy, he's got his name is like that far. It goes from shoulder to shoulder, oh, right? Whatever. It doesn't mean they... No, they don't have... They missed like five chances. You don't I'm watching the news up. like... You don't even I know, know what, don't know what hey, I'm talking hey, about. Hey, both of you. Both of you. Both of you. Come on, here he goes again. Both of you. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down, guys. Right, sir? Hey, guys, sorry about that. I know these people here. Don't embarrass me. We got some work to do anyways, right? We got some drinking to do and we're here for business to talk about shed for brains eh if that's going to be your attitude you can't be in shed for brains all right all right look at that beautiful little baby boy okay born Gorgeous. outside of his mother's uterus carried to term like five pounds beautiful one in a million survive yeah a birth good like that. luck like... to him good luck to him in this world uh what is that about? Grouchy. What, what's the problem? Is it the script? You know what? Don't worry about no, the script. No, it's not. You can not, write another script. I know. It's You're not the script. That. It's not the script. I just... What is it? Charlie? Are you having no, I, with uh, mom again? No, I talked to Pete. I got a lawyer investigating our options on Charlie. It's... What is it? Are you having a bad hair day? Well... Like, is my hair okay? Your hair's fine. What's the problem, Lucas? Shannon? Yeah? I got women trouble. I'm sorry, what did you say? Women trouble. I'm sorry. Um, where's Lucas and what have you done with him? Because mm, I don't know who you are. I'm serious. Are you serious? Yeah. This, I've got to hear. Oh, oh, that's a great photo. <laughs> it's Doug up at Lake Kuchiching. He took Caitlin and uh, all her little brownie buddies up there last summer. They were working on some sort of badge or something. Survival badges. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And anyways, he'd uh, they have um, some sort of rock cliffs there, so he jumped off uh, into the lake and uh, lost his trunk. No. <laughs> Completely, they came off, <laughs> and the girls were teasing him. Hey, Mr. Murphy, why don't you come out of the water? Why don't you? And finally, like a half hour later, he was getting cold and the girls had pity on him, so they all jumped in and formed a circle around him and <laughs> brought him in, you know? And then up the beach so the other families <laughs> were going to see him. And Oh, they had a great time. Well, that's a great story. Yeah. Why, yeah. Don't you, why don't you tell that one? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not appropriate for a funeral. Picture this, if you will, all right? The Shed for Brains warehouse huh? is shaped like a giant shed, all right? And inside is where we saw all the sheds. Beautiful, all right? beautiful. Hey, I got an idea how to keep costs down too, right? Hockey sticks. Huh? Huh? Hockey sticks for what? Yeah, for building a shed, you know? Recycle is big these days, right? Use docks, hockey sticks. Hey, uh, Lonnie, Lonnie, I appreciate it, but we ain't building our sheds out of recycled material, right? I want grade A top wood. Well, grade A top oh, wood, grade good. A top wood. I know, we, all you have to do is hawk it off co contracting size, man. You just go, yeah, they got, don't lock that stuff up, you just hawk it. Jeez, you just take it home. home. What are you, drunk? I didn't put on a suit and get a hundred grand to become a criminal, all right? Smart enough. A hammer fist you. All right. Oh, the most important part about this thing is that it's just family, you know? Just you uh, and, and me and, and you. That's right. You know what I mean? No that's bosses, right. no bosses, no employees, just family. Uh, that's that's right. That, no, boss, <laughs> no bosses, no employees. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, I hate bosses. How does one tell another human being that they feel strongly for them, that, that they may even love them, although they may not know what what that means to love someone. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, why don't you tell me a little bit about her? Well, she's, uh, she's beautiful. 
She's sexy and intelligent. And, but more than that, she, she makes me feel the kind of whole range of emotions. I mean, sometimes, sometimes she kind of frustrates me. Other times she <gasps> has this incredible knack to, you know, pick me up when I'm feeling blue. And uh, she just, she's just always there with me. I mean, she's always in my mind. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, it's very interesting. No, 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 he had a, he had a cigarette. He dropped a oh. cigarette or something. In a group of, like, dry pine needles, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm just I mean, amazed that that would start at as big a fire as that became. Well, apparently like, it was really, really, well, really hot I'll and tell dry. you in BC, it is so hot and dry in the summer. Oh, you apparently. have a brother out there. I have you? two brothers. That's where I grew up. Well, yeah, my, my dad's from there originally. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Are they hot. okay? Well, they're fine. They, they, they haven't been uh, near where the fires are. Oh, but, good. I mean, how do people even think about smoking in, in, when it's that dry? It's like, it's semi-arid out there. I it's know, like desert. But it, it's an accident. I, mean, I obviously didn't do it on purpose. And imagine the guilt that he's, you know, well, he holding on. He could have killed so people. Bad. He felt so bad. I mean... Well, he should feel bad. Well, thank yeah. God they got the rain and, and, and it's cooler out there now, yeah. so it's not... Not quite as bad. No, that's that's a saving grace, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I could mention uh, about Doug's charity work or something. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize he did charity work. Oh, he used to take the kids up to the donkey sanctuary to help groom the donkeys. It's near Guelph. And he worked for Meals on Wheels. Oh, well, there you go. I think you should definitely mention that. Work? Maybe work. Pete, listen. I'd like to offer you the opportunity so come in on the ground level as an investor for Shed for Brains, all right? I know it might not seem like much now, but neither did McDonald's at one point, neither did Microsoft, right, right, and yeah. I'd just like to open the door for you to come on aboard. Okay. Thanks for the offer. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to respectfully decline. First of all, Shed for Brains is a bad name. Secondly, to design stores that are actually built like large sheds means that you're going to have a lot of height, but not a lot of actual surface area for your store. Okay. Thirdly, you plan to have a corporate structure that has no bosses and, uh, from what I understood, no employees. That's, that's generally a bad idea. It's huh? like an army or a, uh, a team without a coach, okay? Yeah. Now, the other issue that's really coming out here is that if I was to walk into a store <laughs> and see the three of you guys with matching Wendell Clark mustaches. I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably turn around and run Wait a minute away. here. <laughs> you knocking Wendell? Well, I mean, not really. I mean, there was that thing going around. Remember about 10 years ago that maybe he was gay? <laughs> Is this guy for real, Johnny? I don't know. Are you for real, Pete? What? I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. What? Yeah, you got matching mustaches, guys. That's hey, funny. Pete. Pete. Hey! You for real, bud? Honestly? Hmm? What? You for real? This is this guy... You want to step outside? He wants to be stop? our boss now or huh? something like are, that? Are He's a straight guy. You're telling us what we know? Hey, I bet you've never done a piece of work in your life. Right, exactly. Guys, 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 down guys, there in your guys, life, throwing well, your people well, up there well, down... Hey, guys, seriously, settle down right now, all right? Okay, listen, all right? This guy right here, he's had a few pops, all right? He eats turds like you for breakfast. I eat turds. All right? Settle down, all right? When the train stops, do what you want, all right? He's all yours. That's fine. What? You dug your own grave, Pete. <laughs> you know, Lucas, these feelings that you're feeling, they're very natural, right? These emotions, but I mean, you've got them all pent up. That's not healthy. You know all about that spirituality and being true to yourself and all that stuff, right? But the so... problem is if I get them out and say I tell this yeah, person. Yeah, tell her, that's what I'm saying, tell her. Say she rejects me, then I, I mean, I gotta see her every day. Uh, so it's... No, 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 don't worry about that. Be true to you, right? Those are some of your words I'm using, right? Be honest with her. That's the important thing. Be honest. Tell her how you feel, and you never know. You never know. She might uh, feel the same way. You seem very, very calm today, very relaxed, Nicole. 
Oh. Well, I, I, um, I took yesterday off and, uh... Oh, nice. Yeah, Enzo and I had a really, really fantastic week. Oh. You guys are I'm still seeing each other? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like it's appropriate, though, to... Oh, no, no, no. Nicole, Nicole, if you feel happy, be happy. Oh, my gosh, I've seen my fair share of sad faces and glumness, you know? No, please. Enzo and I went to Casino Niagara. Oh. And we gambled, gambled, gambled. Oh. How is it? I've never been to a casino. It was crazy, all the lights and bells and, <laughs> and people and Did stuff. you guys win anything? Well, Sunday night we were both down and uh, I was waiting for him outside the bathroom. When does a woman ever wait for a man? But he has this thing with his hair. He's got gorgeous hair, but anyway. <laughs> and so I decided to play one of the slot machine things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put a dollar in and I hit the thing and it starts going like this big symphony, just loud and bells and whistles and lights. I won $500. <gasps> Come yeah, on. Right. Off that's one spin, good that's win. awesome. <gasps> You're good, good you've got the touch. Doug used to say I have the touch. I'd win every time. Oh, that's right. Then you do have the touch. Mm -hmm. So do you. <laughs> nice. We should go to Casino Niagara sometime. Really? Why not? Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> that would be nice. Na, 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 Hey, look, boys, relax. All I'm saying is that you gotta be careful if you're gonna get into one of these business ventures. You need a real serious plan because you don't want to lose this $100,000 like that, okay? This is the one chance you guys are gonna get. All right, all right, Pete, you're making some good points, right? But the Wendell Clark thing was just a bit over the line. I, I understand. Right? Guys, I understand. I was just playing around. I was just huh? playing Touch around. It. Don't good. go there, all right? Is that it? Is oh. that it? Are you done? Hey. Are you done? Hey, I'm done. Are you done? One Whoa. more time. Are you done? Hey. You know are what? Are you done? I am Shut done. Shut up. I am done. Shut but up. You know what was really Shut funny up. is when Smelvin here <laughs> was talking about <laughs> he couldn't pronounce his name. Pardon me? When you couldn't pronounce his name. Holy Akimo. Holy Holy Akimo. Holy Jackabo! I said that. Holy Holy Jackabo! It's Holy Jackabo! He's not even playing. Stop being such a dink. All right, that's it. You're such a knobber. I swear to God, Lonnie. Every time we're going, hey, Mel, seriously, easy, Mel. Come on, bud. Take it easy. Come on, bag me. Check your bag, buddy. Check your bag. Check your bag. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. This one for crapping in the. Dressing room. Watch out. I got, I got a clear shot. Do not soil Ow. your own dressing room, you idiot. All right. There he is. There he is. All right. Easy, boys. All right. All right. Oh, my God. You know, you ain't got to tell me that that's Johnny's family, okay? <laughs> the whole goatee thing, whatever. Anyway, never mind. Tell me more about this girl. Oh. What's it that? I mean, she blows me away. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I look at her, I, uh, I wouldn't change a thing. She's perfect. Oh. I mean, her face, it's, she's got this, like, clear complexion. Mm -hmm. It's, and, uh, her body's perfect, and she's got these eyes. These eyes, okay? They're, like, hypnotizing. Mm -hmm. These beautiful blue eyes, they just pierce right through my soul. I'm and sorry, it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Blue eyes? Yeah, like aqua color, you okay. know? And, yeah, uh, I know aqua. The problem is, though, I mean, she's dating somebody else, so I mean, I'm I'm not even thinking straight. Oh, she's involved. She's already involved. And... All right, my advice to you, stay <sighs> out of it. All right, just steer clear of it, at least for a while. Trust me, you don't want to get involved with somebody who's already involved with somebody else. We all know where that can lead to. Just <laughs> take a look at Nicole and her situation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't know. You know, none of these photos say what I want it to say. You know? Like, I don't... I don't want to just get up there in front of everybody, all my relatives and his relatives, and just be boring and dull. And, I mean, I hate... Gloomy funerals. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but you know what, Mrs. Murphy, you are you are not going to be boring, okay? And I just want to say I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, I, what you needed was for me to sort of give you some positive energy, and I just want to say that I'm there for you, and, and that we all are. And of course. Oh, yeah. Whatever you need. Well, thank you, thank you, Dana. I, don't don't worry. Don't. I didn't take any offense. 
And you shouldn't be worrying about what you're gonna say or whether you're gonna say it well. I mean, well, be yourself, Brenda, yeah. and talk about the man that... I mean, he was always doing silly things, you know, <laughs> and embarrassing himself, but he could always laugh at himself. Like here, he was putting... <laughs> He was putting on lipstick and going around and kissing the kids. By the end of the evening, they had kiss marks all over their face, you know? And, he, and sometimes he, he, he'd kept a, an old fringe uh, vest from uh, when he was in high school, and he'd walk around going, Hey, I'm a groovy dude. Hey. And the kids would just like, Oh, no. And he goes, and he would swear that I'm going to go to the restaurant dressed like this. And they would just, oh, they were mortified. And I mean... You know, Doug's mum and oh, she's so rigid and I don't know. Maybe Maybe I will tell the story in the lake. Yeah. Like Ching. You know, Doug would laugh. And so will the kids. Yeah. 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 He didn't mind laughing at himself. He'd just be up in heaven and we'd have a good laugh. So yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Silly. <laughs> <laughs>